Welcome back to Hell's Kitchen, where our celebrity chefs are currently under starter's orders. And very soon, unbeknownst to them, in fact, only beknownst to you viewers, Gordon Ramsay will be walking out of the kitchen, allowing you all to uh, enjoy the ensuing chaos live. Now, it may have come to your attention that Gordon eschews traditional man management in favour of his own rather less conventional approach, and you can't deny it does get results tears, breakdowns, psychological traumas, and eventually Beef Wellington's cooked correctly. On the evidence thus far, it's proven to be highly effective with our eight celebrities, although I do vaguely recall there used to be more of them. Uh, but what exactly is the dubious method behind his undoubted madness? antagonize them with a style of reprimanding them that pisses them off so much they want to stab you. There were moments when I wanted to use my knife like a tomahawk. I bollock them to get them on their toes. Hello. Yeah. My reputation on the line, you calm down and you concentrate. Yeah, that way I know you are focused. Of course Gordon's going to shout and I expected that. You know, not that it's nice. He was like this far away from my face. I could see his veins bulging. His eyes were going to pop out. It's Stone Cold! I'm sorry. Oh, no. Go, 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 go! 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 You just want to scream, oh, shut up for f sake. I am trying my hardest to get this right, and it is not helping. Not again. Yeah? Not again. They're a bunch of bastards to each other. And everyone's mates, and I get what Ange said today. Ah, oh, it's cool, it's where we are. When services, sometimes, you know, we shout and we holler at each other. And it's, I just can't admit, imagine living around that life every day. James. Four James. minutes. James. Keep it, huh? Why do you want to spoil it now? Whenever we send out, James, it's been so perfect. Yeah. I can understand why he gets so frustrated sometimes when you've got an order for six people. And because one person drops something or does that, the whole lot. In the bin. Now, yes, I'm well. a Shit Street. Yes, go, please. Go! You have to have that adrenaline rush. You have to be an adrenaline junkie to want to work in a kitchen. So you need, he needs that total 110%, and that's what I'll, yeah, I'll, try, I'll try to give him. The doctor's come back. Yes, chef. The Caesar salad's come back. Yes, chef. The f ravioli came back. I'm not going to send it, guys. I think he's probably some sort of management genius, actually, in, a, in an extraordinary way. And you can see that glint of horror, hate, and love in their eyes, all in the same glare. You f so got them rattled. That should put you under immense pressure to perform perfection. Surely if making the staff want to stab you is the secret of running a successful business, then Ed Wiener would be head of ICI. So that's how Gordon does things, but what will happen when one of our celebrities is handed control of the kitchen? A little later we'll be finding out, and it's up to you to choose who gets the gig, as Tommy would have put it. Give us a call now, and remember your vote will also count on Sunday night when the celebrity with the least votes gets the, as it were, boot. Uh, give us a call, vote for Amanda on 090 or Belinda 090 02 for Edwina, it's 05. Could James run the pass? Call 06. For Jen, 07. Matt's on 08. Should it be Al? He's on 09. And Abby's on 10. Calls cost 50p, 16p from each call going to charity. Or text us uh, by sending your celebrity's first name to 87654. And digital viewers can vote interactively by pressing their red button should they so desire. Now, the enigma of Abby. She's already incurred Gordon's wrath without knowing why, and now she seemed to have annoyed Amanda. So what was it? What has she said? What has she done? Time for a showdown in the storeroom. Why don't you tell me what, I, what I've done to upset you? Amanda, I'm, before I cry, I'm going to oh, walk away cry. now. Believe me, cry. I'll come and watch you cry. I'll find you. I have no idea what is wrong with that woman. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. Huh? Well, I'm not. I think the best thing for me to do this morning is to leave now. Please don't go. We need, we need, we need all of us here. Or we. Oh, you won't be able to do what? We won't be able to get this done. 
We last night we did it because we all did our jobs and we just flew through the service. Please. What can we do? Amanda goes upstairs <laughs> to think things over. Uh, I've had a bit of a struggle had with communication Hi, with Angela. her for the whole yes, week. Well, so, look, I mean, to be honest, we're going to have to take her out of the equation it's for really today. Weird. I know, I know, I find it very weird. But uh, uh, what, we, what we can't do, what we can't do, is lose the feeling that we no, had wait, last no. night. We're plunged into this with strangers, high stress. Oh, we should all be. One thing we should all be doing is giving each other the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I know. It's not. I think it's. I've got to stop getting upset about. It. <laughs> I never. Oh God. Right. I hope I hope Amanda comes back, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's you know something. It's after what she said to me. I'm not really. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, don't don't even go. No. No. Don't. I'll stop. I, I don't. I didn't expect to be so. This to. Oh. Ridiculous. Sorry. Don't be nice to me. Don't be nice to me. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> Come on, Abby. <laughs> I'm going to pull myself together. It's ridiculous. Don't be nice to me because I'm crying. A good three in a bed session about now. <laughs> another day, another three in a bed session. I never. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good job you're here, Al. Thank God I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> ballet, do a bit of ballet. I'm a ballerina in the kitchen. You are a ballerina in the kitchen. I'm a ballerina in the kitchen, look. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> You are. <laughs> Kill me now! <laughs> Thank the Lord for Al Murray. He's a gem, frankly, right. keeping spirits up. It's bloody hard, though. <laughs> you know, people just have not been very nice to me, and I don't quite know why, really. <laughs> so, um, I just feel not too happy. <laughs> um, OK, right. Uh, Amanda's feeling a lot better. She's basically going to come back down after she had a bit of a rest, yeah? So we're, we're back up to full strength again, right. yeah? Yeah? Fantastic. So, proper team. Um, and uh, and we'll just f on from there, okay? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good.